When your sink gets clogged, you might hire a plumber. When your WordPress database gets clogged, you get WP Optimize. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. WP Optimize is by a company called Updraft, and they have a suite of tools, all fantastic. Uh, I've used a few, and I've never had a problem. And uh, Optimize, remove some of the dangling pieces in your database. And why you want to optimize it is so that you'll have a more efficient database so when your website goes and looks for information and brings it back from the database to the browser you want to make sure that you have the best optimized and efficient database you can so it will quickly grab that data and bring it back also it adds weight to your server so if you are on a structured server where you're getting clocked because you're having so much weight in your database, uh, cleaning it out, you know, doing a little spring cleaning will enable you to reduce that load on the server. So that's two reasons why you want to have an efficient, optimized database. So let's take a look at some of the features, options in WP Optimize. So once you install WP Optimize, it is a free plugin in the repository. I won't bore you with how to in install and activate a plugin, but once it's installed and activated, it'll be down here in the bottom left, at least for me, and we want to click on database. Now I've already had this installed for a while, but I haven't run it on this website in a while. So we're going to see some, hopefully some improvements. So when we click on database, it's going to tell you what the optimization options it has for you. And you'll see some that are already pre-checked. And let's go through a couple of these. Optimized database tables means that, uh, we're looking at the database tables and of which um, we have 57. So it's, it's identified all 57 tables. And if you want to look at all your tables, you can see them over here. Let's go back to the optimizations. And so it's saying we've found 57 and we're going to run an optimization. Now, what does that mean? That means we're going to take a look at all the pieces that are in these tables and we're going to clean out maybe some empty rows or some characters that are sit just sitting there and they're not doing anything and the next one is clean all post revisions now if you're familiar with wordpress you know that wordpress does an auto capture or auto draft of all of your revisions that you do on posts and pages and that can add up in the database. That's all gets stored in the database. So in the event that you might, you know, you lose your split space or you delete the um, delete the page of the post, there's always a revision that you can go back to. This will eliminate those revisions. And then we have two trash posts, and we can remove some spam and remove un unapproved comments. That's all pretty self-explanatory. The things down here with the uh, uh, gray and the exclamation point are some things uh, that you want to take a hard look at if you really want to run these because a they are intensive to the database and b it might crash your database so when you run wp optimize before you run it install a backup plugin if you don't already have one and get a fresh backup of all of your data in your database your database your plugins your themes everything and then use WP Optimize. And that is good standard operating procedure for anything that you do on your website. In fact, you should be having a weekly update of your website just in case anything should happen to it. You can always get a fresh copy back up on the server pretty quickly, okay? So keep those in mind, even for these things that are already pre-checked, you know, that might affect your database. So always have a backup at the ready. So some of these things down here that do have the uh, exclamation point are expired transient options, remove pingback, so that's if a notification comes back to the server, comes back to your website that someone else posted or shared your blog on another website, another blog post on another website. So I'm not going to run those right now in this demonstration, but uh, you know, 
take that to heart. Make sure you have a fresh backup uh, in case anything goes wackadoodle with uh, running the optimizations. Okay, I've already done a backup. Um, I feel pretty confident that nothing untoward will happen if I just run these ones that are pre-checked. So that's what we're going to do now. So with that running, we will come back when everything's done. So the optimization is complete. Uh, that took about two or three minutes. It wasn't that lengthy. Uh, you know, the optimization of the tables took the longest. Everything else was done probably within a couple of seconds. And there's a couple of things I want to show you. In the plugin, we have settings. So right now we have a current database size of 9.4 megabytes, and I could save an additional 4.2 kilobytes. And we just had a total cleanup of 8.4 kilobytes. So not that bad. There are some scheduling tools here that I'm not going to go into. Um, you know, for someone who is maybe just blogging just a little bit here and there, I don't know if you're going to need these scheduling tools, but they're there for your use. And you also have a help section here that you can go in and figure out, you know, what else do I need? Uh, how do I figure this out? How do I figure that out? If you're stuck on anything. Thanks so much guys for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, post in the comments below. And I'll leave a link in the description to the plugin so you can install it. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and that pesky bell icon so that you get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. For more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.